We are live at 11.05 IMBC. This is Spirit Cars. And finally, you get to see a little bit of the blue moon. It's coming together. We've been wiring on it and doing, and Eddie's been putting the trunk stuff together and all. And uh, Josh, the voice of Spirit Cars behind the camera there, you've been busy this morning. Yes. You didn't sell anything, but you maybe sold bunches of things. Yes. So we got a lot of, he's been busy, busy. So he just barely made it out here in time. Um, I remember years ago, Man, how many years ago? Seven, eight years ago? When did we go to Nebraska? Long time ago. More than that. Ten years ago? Oh, wow. Ten years ago. So we're, we're in, in there, and I sit down, and I was talking to uh, Speedy Bill Smith, who passed away a couple of years ago. Icon in the industry, really leading. So we sit down, and we're, um, you know, talking, and, um, I mean, he's, he's an icon. So I'm just kind of trying to glean what I can from his information and you know he knows who we are we've been around a little bit anyway and uh, finally he just shakes his head and he's he's lamenting and he, he just grabs his keys out of his pocket like this and he just throws them on the table and he's like that's what people want now they just want turnkey they just want it it's just supposed to all fit be out of the box engineered and uh, hot rodding ain't the way it used to be so he, he said that, and I was like, and he was right. I mean, that's, that is the way the trend is going. It's uh, when you pay something, and it, it's a lot of money for these parts. Um, you kind of expect them to fit, but this is still hot rotting. Don't forget, we're still hot rotting here. Uh, we do a lot of turnkeys, and if, if someone buys a turnkey or wants a finished car, there's there should be a high level expectation and a high level of of uh, service and, and and quality and fit and finish is, is part of it. But if you're building your own car, kind of the thing about what makes hot riding so unique, they're all kind of the same, but there's no two alike. They're similar. This is a Model A. Um, and Larry, the Blue Moon here, he's had these ideas to do, and it happened to be a spirit body, a, a spirit hood, but it's almost a one-off hood. It's a it's a metal grill and grill shell that came from I'm not sure where, and the fenders came from someone else, and Larry did the, the chassis. I don't remember if he uh, built the chassis himself or just assembled it and, and different things. And, you know, obviously the original car didn't come with a, a V8 Chevy in it, um, so you needed a little bit more room and different things. So we're, we're coming close. We're getting together. Things have been apart and together a few times, and I am putting the front end together for the last time. As I'm assembling it this time, I'm making sure the bolts are tight, nuts are tight, if it needs lock, lock tight or whatever on it, it's getting it. And uh, it's, it's going together for the last time. A couple things. Uh, we'll just talk about the grill shell and, and just some of the front here and the headlights. Um, this is something you might not really consider until it's all put together and then you wish you would have done it. If you look in the grill there, you see the grill. Now what I did, this has got a condenser behind there and a radiator. I painted that black, just nothing, a little rattle can, flat black. Huge difference. If I'd have left that aluminum uh, the way it was, it would just confuse that grill shell and you wouldn't see it. It would, it would look just like a silver blob and would not be near as clean as that. So I would just highly recommend um, paint your grill, and if you got a radiator, paint your grill show flat black also. It just, I mean, that's a clean look. That's a nice... A nice grill, a nice grill show. It's, I think we talked about it. Maybe it's got you know little minor gaps here and there. It's not an NOS, but uh, for what he paid for it, I'm sure, versus buying an NOS grill. Nice quality, everything's nice. Again, we didn't build the frame, but a lot of times, and we've done it this way before, you need a little extra room. So this grill show is actually a little bit forward of what it should be on the fenders, and uh, which is fine. But the fenders have got fender braces come up. They're kind of almost like you, and, and there's even different fender braces. They're aftermarket. There's some that are just uh, like a channel, and you can put a bolt through it that's kind of shorter. This one's got a tube almost coming up, and I need a longer bolt, so I've got to find a longer uh, chrome carriage bolt that will go through that whole tube and everything for these. But if you can see, this is where the headlight bar goes in these holes. There's a brace underneath that for that to go to. Well, 
the headlight bar basically looks like something like this and has one of these on this side and goes in front of the grill about like here well, there's no way that's going to happen on here it's just not going to happen um, too far back doesn't work doesn't fit and also another thing on you can kind of see the this is an original style original reproduction it's got a little lip in here on original car it's got an indent I know the spirit fenders we've kind of did a little closer recreation of a of the fender this one's smooth here but uh, on the regular Model A it's going to have a little indention here you can tell it and that this part fits right onto it so we're going to have to put a gasket or something behind this to, to fill that gap I may grind some of this off of here before I put it on anyway don't fit got to make it fit so what I did is whacked it and of course I whacked it long I didn't want to whack it short because you know, some of these parts is a nice quality part. It's not it's not cheap. You don't have to buy another one just because you, you messed up. So I cut it long, kind of hold it up there, kind of cut, 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 cut down until I got the right where I wanted it to be. You can kind of see the angle, see the hole, both sides. What we did, we went and welded a nut into it. I welded the nut so it's at that angle so when I bolt it into the grill shell, it fits in nice. And so you can see on this side now, I just kind of bolted it up there pretty close. Oh, and Larry, we opened your thing and we have some broken glass, so I don't know. We'll have to replace some lights, but anyway, we got your, your housings and stuff. So this will bolt down. It's not bolted yet. I just got some bolts in here because, like I said, I need some longer, nice chrome carriage bolts. I go through, bolt right to my grill shell, and you can see on this side I've measured and made sure my hole on this side is the same. I want the same distance from here here and I want the same distance from the frame up. You don't want your headlights to be, you know, caddy one puts this way or the other. So you can kind of tell if you look from the front, it's gonna look pretty clean. We'll have our other grill, other light here, and we'll have a light like that. Clean it up. I haven't bolted this in yet. I'm fixing to bolt this in too. Pretty neat. It's uh spreader bar, an angled spreader bar with a couple lights in it. Uh, this one happened to be short of what it needs, so I'm going to have to put a couple spacers when I bolt it in. It's got a bolt here that comes through the outside, and I can put an actual nut and a bolt on this side. Comes up. Very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, what, do we like it better with the lights down, though? Probably. Larry, if you're watching this, I can do it either way. No, That's pretty it's cool. You're not going to see enough light here. No. I can do it either way, but I don't want to do it either way. I want to do it like this, unless you tell me not to. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, we need, we need to see them lights. So kind of a little custom deal there. Make that work. Get it to fit on there. Back to Speedy Bill. I mean, he's right. It's nice if it fit. It'd be nice if I had this part all wrapped up in foam, opened the box, took it out. My angle was right here. My little bolt was on right here. This wasn't on here, and it fit perfect to there, and them holes were perfect, and everything was, you know, ideal world. It'd be nice, but sometimes I guess you could say that's the fun of it, Make, making it work. It, it, it doesn't need to be frustrating just because it doesn't work. I mean, if, if, if you have a tendency to be frustrated just because something doesn't fit right and you got to, it's just, I don't know, I hate to say this, I hate to not have all the customers, but it might not be for you to build a car. Uh, as long as we've done this, I mean, hundreds of cars later, there's always some figuring and fitting and doing because this isn't a factory. We may be the hot rod factory. We did buy the... Many of you may know the old hot rod factory from years ago out of Phoenix. Uh, we bought the rod factory and some of their jigs years ago, so we had our own and we just used some of their stuff to complement ours, but even they, it wasn't a factory. A lot of what we do is the same, only different. Every time you do it, you're not going to want to have it exactly like the car next to you or the car next to that one or the car next to that one when you go to the show. 
if you wanted that, you can go to the showroom at a, a car dealer and, and get that. So it's about your individuality. It's about, you know, what, what is the look that you want? Design your own car. The Blue Moon is definitely not my design. Larry's done a great job. He, he knew his colors he wanted. He, he knew the style he wanted. He's, I mean, the different trim package things he wants, he picked out. Um, the flames on there he wanted. Uh, the little blue moon on the back of it. I mean, that's this is Larry's. This is Larry's build. This is a car he built in his dreams probably years ago. So here we go. We got this going. We're we're wiring. We're doing. We're probably not too far away from firing up the motor here. Uh, I know Eddie finished up the trunk package. We had a little different uh, gas tank we had to get in there, so we got that in, and uh, we're moving ahead pretty good on this one. And I would say next week yeah, there's a good chance we're going to see this thing fire up and. It'll be going home pretty soon. Um, I'm sure the Black Knight, Larry T, is going to be here next week. So uh, we're just teasing him. He's got to wait for the weekend. But we got his car body upside down in the booth right now. So he's wanting to see we're going to do some kind of uh, texture practice panel to see if we're going to, if we can paint, do a paint on the interior on the roof of it and make it look like uh, upholstery so that's what we're up to next for today i guess it's the weekend isn't it yes i'm leaving early in the morning i bought me another goat from minnesota i don't have to i don't have to go up there for, to pick it up i'm 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 kid josh congratulations on josh dr josh uh he pulled the first kid so he actually got his hands all slimy and nasty him and his wife my daughter janelle they were she was on google i think with the phone that was yeah <laughs> know how to do it <laughs> how to do it he's grabbing the leg and then uh they were having so much fun i got in the tractor and went down to the pond and i was playing down there but uh, we're done kidding and I, I went and bought me one more so that's that's what my weekend's going to be i'll pass it on coffee break contemplation either one which one either one either one okay let's go with coffee. pass it on pass it on Try to find a page that don't have too many fingerprints on it. Well, this is good. This is good for the weekend. I mean, let's, let's just have a good time this weekend. A human is an energy field becoming what it amplifies. So amplify happiness this weekend. Have a good time. Share that happiness with someone else, and we will see you Monday.